We begin with red, white, and blue election coverage. Wisconsin elected a Democratic president and senator, but Republicans control state government once again. And there's still one race here in Northeast Wisconsin that's not done yet. The unofficial winner of Wisconsin's 18th Senate district seat is Republican Rick Gudax. But with less than 600 votes separating him and Democratic incumbent Jessica King, King is refusing to concede until every vote is counted. NBC 26's Heather Burke begins our live team coverage. The margin of victory is very thin in this race. A 590 vote difference out of about 80,000 ballots dropped. The Winnebago County clerk says she wouldn't be shocked if Jessica King demands a recount. Town of Utica is right here. We got town of Oshkosh. Ballot bag after ballot bag. Winnebago County Clerk Sue Ertmer prepares for a potential recount. It's a close race, so we are doing our official board of canvas tomorrow, so we'll determine the official totals for both of the candidates. We just basically go through and verify that the results that they reported to us on election night. Incumbent Jessica King believes her race against Republican Rick Gudix is too close to call. She emailed us a statement that reads, I am not conceding this race until every vote is counted and verified. We'll wait until the county clerks have completed their canvas. We took it upon ourselves to declare victory. Still, Gudix is confident the canvas will be in his favor. We're really proud to be standing here today, uh, you know, looking at going down to Madison and getting to work. If the canvas shows a difference of 428 votes or less, King can request a recount at no cost to her campaign. All right, that is done. A recount Ertmer is counting on. With a huge election like this, there was bound to have some races that were going to be close. Now the canvas needs to be finished by November 20th, and King would have until November 24th to ask for a recount. That process would start November 26th. Heather Burke, NBC 26.